defiled, right? Even their mind and conscience is defiled. Right? So they've been brainwashed in wickedness. Alright? And the ones who can understand this, right, don't believe in it because they've been washed with the word, man. Okay? This is the living water, man. Okay? This water is not, it's always flowing, man. It's not stagnant. Okay? It's always flowing. It's not stagnant, man. And that's why you see, matter of fact, let me see if I can find it. That's why you see so many brothers on the web, man, bringing out this truth, man. That's why you see it's growing and it's growing and it's growing and it's growing and it's growing. And it's growing. Okay. Let me see if I can find it. It's been a long time. Uh, go back, look up that word D. i.e. In, in the obedience he renders to the law. That's the deed, man. You have to apply it, man. You have to. You have to. And like I was saying, one of you brothers give me uh, Ezekiel uh, 47 and uh, 3. And read all the way down to four. And that's why, hey, yeah, the deeds you have to apply. But no, I'll make sure you stay in James. So we're going to read that again. Right? Deeds. Dealing with the deeds. Okay? Deeds. You have to apply these scriptures, man. There's no way around it, man. You go to looking up these words. You go to looking up these words. There's no way around it, man. So read what you, that's why you see a lot of brothers coming to this truth. And this word is, uh, flooding the internet. This truth is flooding the internet and it's living water, man. It's not stagnant, man. Okay? It's growing and growing and growing to to it to its to it submerge to it submerge America spiritually and then these Edomites gonna get mad and make war against the elect of Israel, man. Okay? That's what it's gonna be, man. Read what you got in Ezekiel. Is that Ezekiel 47 and 3? No, 37. Yeah, 47, so like okay. 47 and 3. Okay. Ezekiel 47 and 3. Read kind of loud, huh? And when the man that had the line in his hand went forth eastward, he measured a thousand cubics. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. And he brought me through the waters. The waters were to the ankles. The waters were to the ankles. Hmm. Go ahead. Verse 4. Yep. Again, he measured a thousand and brought me through the waters. The waters were to the knees. The water were to the knees. That's the word. <laughs> it was at the ankles, now to the knees. Mm. Okay? Hey, right, you gotta be baptized in this water, man. 
It's happening, man. Jake is waking up to the truth. They being brainwashed, man, on the right hand side, man. All right, they coming back to their heritage, man. First it was at their ankle, boom. Elders hit the scene, boom. They hit the internet, it was at the ankle. Boom, my other brothers start popping up. Boom, boom, boom. They start going to the knee, <laughs> right? Ain't nothing Esau could do. Esau <laughs> getting nervous. They popping up everywhere. Look at the tribe, they coming together, right? To their ankles now. I mean, it, it was at their ankles that first now to their knee. You know what I'm saying? Go ahead, bro. Again, he measured a thousand and brought me through. The waters were to the loins. The waters were to the loins. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> By your belt. You know? By your waist, man. Okay? So it jumped from the ankles to the knees to the waist, where your loins is. Okay? Go ahead. Verse 5. Afterward, he measured a thousand, and it was a river that I could not pass over. It was a river! Ooh, man. <laughs> that he could not pass over. <laughs> it's getting deep. Flowing! It's getting deep. Hey, man, you go on the internet. It's <laughs> right now we speak, brothers, upload video. Going in the prophecy. Matter of fact, start from the top again and read it again. Verse. So Jake can catch it. So Jake can look at it and say, what? <laughs> what did he say? You know what I'm saying? What did he say? Nah, the scripture is saying it. We're reading it. Go ahead, bro. Verse 5. Afterward, he measured a thousand, and it was a river that I could not pass over. It was a river that he could not pass over. Now, if you get in that river <laughs> and you ain't right, <laughs> it's gonna take you and it's gonna drown you. Yeah, the current's gonna push you on down. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's flowing, man. Hey, it's flowing, man. I, you just can't play around in that water right there, man. Life or death. <laughs> okay? Life or death, man. Life or death, man. It's that living water, man. So start from the top. From the top, always like three. Wait, okay. Read that again. Yeah. Uh, Ezekiel chapter 47 and 3. And when the man that had the line in his hand went forth eastward, he measured a thousand cubics, and he brought me through the waters... The waters were to the ankles. To the ankles. Again, he measured a thousand and brought me through the waters. The waters were to the knees. Again, he measured a thousand and brought me through. The waters were to the loins. Waters were to the loins, man. Okay. Go ahead. Afterward, he measured a thousand, and it was a river that I could not pass over. Hey, so here you go, man. <laughs> this word is living water, man. And Esau see the river, man. Esau see the river mm -hmm. on the well, man. Hey, he see it. He's like, man, we got to stop it, man. That's why they got net neutrality, okay? That's why they going to become a family of the word. That's why they uh, 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 in the process of banning the Bible. And you can watch this movie, right? It's called, it's called, it's called Rumors of War. You know the movie, right, bro? It's yeah, called yeah. Rumors of War. You seen, seen that, that movie? Yeah, I seen that. The movie, Rumors of War. And in that movie, guess what they do? Burn the Bible, man. And they tell you in that movie that uh, the Bible is what started the war. And then they show you what the RFID chip is in that movie, man. Rumors of war, man. Okay? It's on the Sci-Fi channel. I don't know, I don't know when it came out. Matter of fact, one of you brothers can Google it and uh and see what year it came out. Uh right? Called Rumors of War. Hey, they they tell you about the chip, they go in the scriptures. So these Edomites know, man. These either might know that the mark of the beast is the RFID chip, man. They know it, man. And they know that this Bible, this Bible is, uh, 
that they're gonna have to stop and try to stop it, man. Because the living water is flowing, man. And in that movie, Rumors of War, they tell you that the Bible is what caused the war. Why? It's because we bring it forth through the Spirit and power of Yahweh Shema Shai. This word is being published and we're reading it and it's causing these prophets to happen and therefore war got to happen, man, to get Israel delivered out of this condition, man. And in that, in that movie, Rumors of War, whoever, whoever believed in the Bible, okay, whoever believed in the Bible, they labeled as Christians and they was killing you. In that movie, Rumors of War, man, they just straight up kill you, man. So that's what Esau gonna do to you when he implement full scale his new world order. If you believe in the Bible, he gonna kill you. Okay? Yeah. When when did it come out? What year? 2013. 2013. That's when that movie came out. Rumors of war, man. Yeah. Yeah. Go the water, huh? Yeah. No, I put it up. I put it up there. I, I put it up there. But yeah, that's when it. That's when it uh, came out. 2013. So read that again. In Ezekiel. Uh, Ezekiel. The last part. The last river part. Okay. Ezekiel chapter 47 verse 5. Afterward, he measured a thousand, and it was a river that I could not pass over, for the waters were risen, waters to swim in. A river that I could not be passed over. There you go, man. There you go. So that's that, man. So, hey, that's what it is, man. And that was verse what? Verse 5. That was verse 5? Yeah. Ezekiel 47 and 5. Right. And you read, you read verse 4, right? Yes. All right. Verse and verse 5, you say what now? Afterward, he measured a thousand, and it was a river that I could not pass over. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. For the waters were risen, waters to swim in, a river that could not be passed over. That's the truth, man. Woo. That's the truth. First it was at his ankles, then it went to his knees, then it went to his loins, mm. brought his belt, and then it became a river, then it was water to swim in, man. That's how that, that's how that uh, word it's coming out on the web, so the water for that. Right? Yeah. Unless there's some more on that. Was no. there some more on that? No, that was, was it. it? That was it. Good. The water. So that's how that word is coming out. So the elect is being brainwashed in the river in righteousness, man. Okay? They're being washed by the word, man. That's what it is. So go back to uh, James. 1608. We headed your way, man. This is uh, James chapter 1, verse 25. But whoso looketh into the perfect law of liberty and continueth therein, he being not a forgetful hearer, but a doer of the work, this man shall be blessed in his deed. This man shall be blessed in his deeds, man. Okay? So you have to apply these ordinances, man. You have to. You have to be obedient, man. According to the scripture, man. Okay? There's nowhere around it in order for you to get delivered, man. You have to apply it, man. Okay? Now we're gonna jump. We going to uh let's see what I got here. So you gotta watch it, man. You have to apply it, and you gotta watch it. Right? see what I had in there. So you gotta watch it, man. And you have to apply, you have to apply these scriptures, man. Okay? We're gonna go to Revelation. We're gonna go to Revelation uh, 12th chapter, right? And we're gonna start at 11. Right? This Revelations. All right. uh, this is Revelation chapter 12, verse 11. And they overcame him by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of, of their testimony, and they loved not their lives unto, unto the death. Yeah, 
who, uh, who overcame them by the sacrifice of Yahweh Shemel Shai, man? The ones that believed, man. The ones who had faith in him, man. Okay? The ones who had faith in the Heavenly Father and His Son, man. 2,000 years ago, it was already set up. Boom, man. Really, it was set up before the world even began, man. When you read in Ephesians, matter of fact, I get that. Okay? It was already set up, man. It's nothing, it's nothing that these Edomites can do to uh, uh, upset or stop the prophecies, man. It's already written, man. It's done, man. Ephesians, the... Uh, let me see if I can grab it here. Ephesians, the first chapter. Uh, this Ephesians uh, 1 and uh, 3. It says, Blessed be the power and the Father of our Lord, Yahweh Shah Mashiach, who hath blessed us with all spiritual blessings in heaven, in heavenly places in a Mashiach, according as he had chosen us in him before the foundation of the world, that we should be holy and without blame before, before him in love. So there you go, man. Before the foundation of the world, man. It was already set up, man. It's nothing that these heathens, and at the top of them heathens, Esau, so-called white man, devil that the Bible speaks of, can do about Israel waking up to this truth and coming back to their nationality. We just read in Ezekiel uh, uh, 47 and 3 on down. Hey, right, this word is like a river, man. Nothing you can do, man. Okay? We just read it in Ezekiel 47 and 3 on down, man. There's nothing you can do, man. First it was at the knee, then it went to the, I mean, first it was at the ankle, then it went to the knee, then it went to the loin. Now it's like a river you can swim in. Nothing you can do, man. Okay? And it was already set up from the foundation of the world, man. In the spirit of power, Yahweh Shem Shai, who's going to wake up to the truth and be anointed and be a part of Yahweh Shem Shai's body, man. Nothing. Okay? So, going back over there to uh, Revelation. Read that again. Uh, verse 12. I mean, verse uh, uh, yeah, 11. All right. This is uh, Revelation chapter 12, verse 11. And they overcame him by the blood of the Lamb. Overcame who? Satan. The devil. That's right. Okay? So-called white man. Okay? Who said, well, how's the so-called white man the devil? I thought the devil was a, was a, uh, was a, was a spirit. Yeah, he is. But you got the physical. Yeah, a red man with a pitchfork. They got the color right. Okay? And the devil is not a polyon in, up under that. It's not a polyon when you read in, uh, when, well, yeah, you, well, you, you know, Edomites are deceivers. But they'll try to say, people who read these scriptures, they'll try to say a polyon, uh, which goes to uh, Kaiser, which goes back, when you read Revelations, uh, what, what is it, Revelation, the, uh, when you read Revelation, the, uh, the, the ninth chapter, it goes into uh, 9 and 11. When you read it, when you read that, and you go on, and you got the understanding of it, they're dealing with Kaiser Wilhelm. Okay, the second, during 1859 and 1941, that's when Kaiser Wilhelm II was on the earth, and that was during World War I, right? The, the war between uh, uh, Britain uh, and France and uh, 